LIDARs. It's a sensor that uses pulse lasers to accurately measure the distances to surrounding objects in real time, thus helping the car make better autonomous driving decisions. In recent years, we're seeing them installed in many of China's EV models. The fresh demands from a burgeoning car sector should give a big boost to China's LiDAR industry, which is by no means a fledgling one. According to French research firm Yol, Chinese LiDAR manufacturers already control more than 70% of the global market. The Guangzhou-based company Ben Wake has been making LiDARs since 2015, not for cars, but for another kind of vehicle, which I'm about to summon. I've just placed an order, and we should be expecting it in about 15 minutes. These drones are deployed by one of China's biggest live service companies called Meituan to deliver orders of takeout foods placed on their app. Ben Wake is a supplier of the LiDAR sets on these drones, a vital component that measures the drone's distance to the ground as well as potential obstacles. Uh, here it comes. This is not some concept demo. Drone delivery of takeout foods has become a reality in select parts of China. And this is the coffee I ordered. Ben Wake's LiDARs are also installed in these robots designed to be used at coal power stations and other high-risk environments. They've even been casted in a recent hit sci-fi movie in China. I talked to Ben Wake's founder, Li Yuan, at their LiDAR factory. So what is this place? So this is the LiDAR's calibration, like oh. the final test of LiDAR. Ah, so it's a testing place? Yes. Uh, actually, we call this as uh, calibration mm -hmm. to make it more accurate. You can see there are white board and uh, black board to reflect the uh, different uh, parameters into the LiDAR system. So the white boards and darker boards simulate brighter or darker objects? Yes. So we use this system to calibrate the error and return the correct parameters into the LiDAR system. All of these LiDARs are widely used for real uh, transport and uh, robot and even autonomous driving cars. Mm -hmm. In 2023, Ben Wake has started to move on to the car sector by signing a deal with China's biggest car hailing app, DD, to provide LiDARs for their robo-taxi project. A deal has also been reached with the GAC Group, China's fifth biggest automobile manufacturer. How have Chinese LiDARs managed to be world-leading in terms of market share? Okay, uh, actually LiDAR is a uh, top-tier industry uh, in the world. First, I need to like uh, enough talent and scientists and engineering. Uh, China has this benefit. So second, uh, China has a big uh, LiDAR market. Uh, so third, uh, it also needs to mature uh, supply chain. Uh, this is Chinese uh, advantage. And what are some future challenges going forward for the LiDAR industry? One is innovation. So second, we need to do the cost down. Since cheaper price means uh, more customers can pay for this price. A lot of the premium high-end cars are equipped with LiDARs now. Yeah. And you're expecting more and more probably middle-end cars are able to be afforded to use LiDARs in the future. Yes. As LiDAR-assisted L2 autonomous driving trickles down from premium models to more affordable ones, prices and costs will become an increasingly important issue. Yang Chengxi, CGTN, Beijing.